The only thing better than data is big data. But getting your hands on large data sets is no easy feat. From unwieldy storage options to difficulty getting analytics tools to run over your data set properly, large data sets can lead to all sorts of struggles when it comes to actually doing something useful with them. So what's a data scientist to do? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to AI Adventures, where we explore the art, science, and tools of machine learning. My name is Yufeng Guo, and on this episode, we're going to check out the BigQuery public datasets and explore the amazing world of open data. We all love data, preferably the more the merrier. But as file sizes grow and complexity increases, it becomes increasingly challenging to make practical use of that data. BigQuery public datasets are datasets that Google BigQuery hosts for you to access and integrate into your applications. So this means that Google pays for the storage of these data sets and provides public access to the data via your cloud project. You pay only for the queries that you perform on the data. Moreover, there's a one terabyte per month free tier, making getting started super easy. Looking at the public data sets page, we can see that at the time of this recording, there are nearly 40 public data sets. Each data set, in turn, has many tables. Thousands of queries from hundreds of projects all over the world are already making use of these vast public data sets. What's really neat, though, is that each of these data sets comes with a bit of explanatory text that helps you get started with querying the data and understanding its structure. Let's take a look at an example. Here's the New York City tree census. The page shows us how we can easily find answers to questions like, what are the most common tree species in New York City? And how have the tree species changed since 1995 in New York City? These are all accessible by literally one click from the docs page, which opens right into the BigQuery interface. Another data set that is quite amazing is the Open Images data set. It contains approximately 9 million URLs, along with metadata, for images that have been annotated with labels spanning over 6,000 categories. Using it, you can find answers to your most pressing questions about images on the web, like how many images of a trolley bus are in this data set? It's over 3,000. But I digress. BigQuery Open Datasets is a great way to explore public data sets and practice your data analysis skills. Combined with tools that we've looked at before, like Data Lab, Facets, and TensorFlow, you could really come up with some awesome data science. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to the public datasets page and let your analysis run wild. For more details and examples, check out the expanded blog post I've linked to down below in the description. Thanks for watching this episode of Cloud AI Adventures. And if you enjoyed it, please like it and consider subscribing to get all the latest episodes right when they come out. For now, check out BigQuery's public datasets and start querying away.